Okay, I love you very much. I enjoyed you. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Starting you off on a leaning note here. Crooked boat ramp. Look at this. Holy cow, there's tires. Oh, this is gonna be interesting if we get this off. That jack plate way the heck up here. Oh, that's good because my trailer fell off the ramp and I was already skidding out trying to get back up. So I didn't need that extra weight. <laughs> Look how crooked this is. That is a bona fide crooked doozy right there. She's sitting a little low over there. There she blows. For a sec there, I was wondering, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this thing out. Hopefully the trailer's okay. Certainly went off an edge. Hey look, I'm gonna park right next to another FX. Y'all, <laughs> let's go give it a day. Mm-hmm. So a new lake that you don't know, that is always a fun one. I think for you guys to watch, definitely a fun one for me. Certainly gonna be an interesting one to navigate. I'm just coming off of a mouth surgery here. So I'm really not feeling the best in the face area right now. I'm honestly feeling like a bass that's been hooked by a couple treble hooks, been yanked on. Got to experience that. You saw that in the last video, unfortunately, I'm sorry. We have low water, we have 55 degrees, good crankbait conditions, and a jig, some sort of dark colored jig. This water is, uh, is stained, it's kind of dirty. But we're gonna tie some gear on and get ready to go. I brought my soup, so all I can eat is liquid right now. But when you're on a lake you've never been to before, a little frightening, especially I'm on a river system right now. I am gonna put a life jacket on today, because I, no I have no knowledge of this lake. Yeah, I don't put on a life jacket near enough, I'll admit, but this is definitely a situation where I want to put one on. Uh, seeing a few trees out here in the middle. I haven't even got up on pad yet. Kind of scanning, scoping out. There's definitely some deep water, but it's setting up to be a shallow game today. All righty, let's put the Yama hammer down. And We'll go think about some lures here in a second. Take a closer look at the waters. Okay, time to get the action started, y'all. Give me something dark for a Guggen trailer. This will actually do right here. El Natural, it's good in all watercolors. Typically I'd bite that off, but I can't since I have a uh, skin graft right there where my gum is. So I just pinched it. Little crawl, this is actually a jig that one of y'all sit in. Hand tied, appreciate you. Start off with that and a uh, crankbait. One of the crankbaits I still got tied on from the other day. That's not a bad one there for this watercolor. And we're hitting rocks. Look at that water damage. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Lots of those in, in today's video, y'all. Gonna see some snags. I, I just got plunked on a jig. One of my first casts with it, just threw it right up about right there. As soon as I dropped it off the first rock, it just, boom started swimming out but the fish dropped it one bite at the first spot not a bad start i gotta get one in the boat on the next spot though right that's just how it works i mean through the magic of editing i'll make it happen anyway Holy cow, what the crap? Are you serious? Did you guys see that? Tell me you saw it. 
Oh my gosh. I was reeling that jig in and he just open mouth whammer jammed it. Oh my gosh, that's one of the coolest bites I've ever had in my life and it's a big one. That's a big one. I'm gonna pull down. Oh, that's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Wow. First fish of this lake and it's a dandy. Absolute dandy. That's a five or six. Come here. Give me your face. Oh, what in the crap is going on here? Oh my gosh. Boom. Baby, look at that crack and crawl on that jig in his mouth. That thing was boiling at the surface, those legs kicking, and he just came up behind it and absolutely hammered it. It's a solid five and a half, maybe six pounder. Whew, crack and crawl. Crack and crawl on a jig that you guys made me. That is awesome. That deserves a good picture. It's time to put it on the Guggen logo. See if it's just as long as that. Maybe longer. Ooh, let's see. Ooh, yeah. Right there. That is a certified dandy. Mm-hmm. Great fish. We'll let it go. One of my best, like, seriously, most awesome bites that I've ever had. A bass of that size just smashing it, coming up behind it on a jig oh gotta love it that just made my day right there i don't have to catch another one but i certainly am gonna try it was such a rough week last week and i just wanted to get out fishing and uh and i did i had the last video i had a great time filming uh actually the last last video where i was in the dentist chair no i was not but getting up driving many hours across Texas today, starting the trip off, I'm going to other lakes, starting it off with like a five and a half, six pounder on a jig, one of you guys sent in, and then on a crack and crawl, one of the best colors too. <laughs> it's my biggest bass on that color so far. On my rod, on my signature series 7-2. I don't know, I don't know if it gets better than that. My head hurts though, the only remedy is to catch more fish and maybe some Advil. Guy up under the dock. I say little guy, it's a dang good fish. Absolutely hosed it. Come here, buddy. Gone. Gone. Nice. Second fish on the jig. That one, that one was on the slow. A little slow bite there. Not really on anything, just kind of up under that little pontoon. God, oh, this is setting up to just be nasty, y'all. I might need to spend another day out here. Oh, it's looking very jig-like. Very jig-like. We've got, looks like 100 yards or so of good jig waters. I am gonna go ahead and retie. Fishing lakes like this, it got all the Nastiness, got to retie often. 18 pound, let's see if it can hold up without breaking off today. Just a little uni knot. We're in business. It's about seven foot right here. I'm on a point right now. See, this looks amazing, but it is different than where I caught those fish earlier, where it's, it's deeper. but it has got some little nooks and crannies back here that are beautiful. There ain't a whole lot I can do on that one. See how she goes sometimes. Oh gosh, it came off. Bent the hook out. Skippity doo dah. Oh, just got bit under there, it's a good one. Gosh, I just turned the GoPro off. Oh my gosh, biggin'. Just biggin'. Skinny though, skinny. 
Come here, you get up on here. Get up on here. Ooh, yeah. God, you had that jig good. Ate it. Actually, odd. Oh, I thought I was, I bumped a rock for a second, and then I checked the fish, came back and grabbed it. That's nice. That is nice. Another wabam Guggen Baits fish right there. Okay, another juicy fish, y'all. Got lava. Just taking some pictures. Oh, I'm gonna put that one at four and a half at least. Oh yeah, baby. Jig and crack and crawl strikes again. And this is a very good sign here. Look at that beautiful fish, y'all. Okay, I love you very much. I enjoyed you. 18 pound test held up though. Oh, got a headache, y'all. Ah! But that just makes it feel better. Catching those fish. Y'all didn't see the beginning of that fight, but that fish ran backwards. Luckily, it didn't get too tangled up, and I was able to get him out but way back in there in that shallow water. Probably two foot. It's a good sign, this is good depth, good water right here. Uh, let's just say that one's four, the other one's six. Uh, so that's 10 pounds and we got a two pounder. Um, yeah, I think we can do a 20 pound bag today with five fish. Let's just keep fishing that jig, man. Bow, bow. Twerking on them like that. Oh God, it's my favorite way to catch them, y'all. Favorite way to catch them. have been coming in and that might be key with this water being down for them to be positioned in these these little holes there's a few more I'm gonna work my way back here and another one oh god not a bad fish either <laughs> a little skinny but nice Two and three quarter pounder, maybe. I love to throw a jig. It's my favorite thing to throw. It's great to fish this time of year. And there's a lot of target areas and there's a lot of little things to look for, like, like chunk gravel and boulders and things like that. You can really soak uh, bait in. It's, it's not just, it's good bank cover. It's not just, uh, it's not just docks. Uh, you can really go down a bank and pick it apart with a light. Don't like it right here, y'all. Water's dirty. It's dirtier. It doesn't have like the good chunky rock. It's kind of just like this flat uh, marble looking stuff. Gonna get out of here, gonna try one more area. Cause I still got light. It's just overcast. The sun's sort of setting over there. I want one more bass. One more for today and I feel like, man, I did good. Drove all the way down here, got out on the water a little late and caught a decent sack of fish. I'll feel good about that, especially on a lake I've never been to. Hashtag personal goals. That's what that is. And if I could get them all on a jig, woo, that'll be a good day. just swimming y'all that that was awesome that's not a huge fish 
God, I just threw there up there right on those rocks and he just boom grabbed it. Yeah, baby. Oh. Well, y'all, I think I'm gonna end my day right there on that fish. Not the five pounder that I wanted, but just an awesome catch. Threw it right in that little tight corner. I just had a feeling there was gonna be a fish there. Stuck him, he went right. I had to lean him back left. That's called angling. Got him in the boat. And it was also on another one of the jigs that you guys sent in. And of course, throwing that natural crack and craw trailer. It seemed like they hung on to that a lot better today. I threw watermelon red, but uh, I had a couple of them spit it out. And then uh, I lost one doing that too. And I don't know if it has something to do with this, this pearl on the belly. It's just a really unique color. I like it. And uh, this is my first time throwing it on black and blue and it looks awesome. And I had a blast today being able to fish the jig. This is a half ounce jig, by the way, with that crack and craw. Uh, crack and craw is real aggressive. Uh, with a half ounce on there, it has a really good fall. Uh, with the three eights, it's it's pretty slow. This crack and crawl slows slows your jig down a lot because the pinchers are so big and they display so much water. But anyway, I threw it on my favorite setup. This is my 7.2 medium heavy signature series rod that some of you guys may have seen maybe you have used and i love it i designed it exactly for what i was doing today uh four jigs four chatterbaits things like that but being able to just roll cast to make a, a roll cast up under there where you can back off a little bit uh or just do some pitching uh, and get accuracy it's, it's a mix between accuracy uh, and, and power. It's, it's not too overpowering, so it's good for dock fishing, good for shallow water target fishing. And if you guys want to pick up one of these rods, I will leave a link down in the description for you. Uh, you can actually get it at Carl's. That's the link I'm going to give you. Uh, Carl's has them, and it's free shipping, site-wide free shipping when you sign up to be a Carl's member, and you get $22 credit on this rod right here uh, to go towards your shopping. So if you sign up for Carl's, you get this rod, you get $22 already back, you get free shipping on it, and you're gonna be doing some solid jig dangling or whatever you wanna use. Texas rig, spinner baits, uh, chatter baits, all that fun stuff that this is designed for. But what a day! If you guys watched the other vlog uh, with my whole mouth situation and getting down here, it has been quite the journey and being able to come out here in the afternoon and get it done get a nice little sack of fish. It feels good. I like this lake and I can't wait to fish here tomorrow and really break it down. So that is where I leave you today, fishing freaks. Don't forget to check out the links down below to subscribe, check out Guggen Baits, and check out my favorite fishing rod. And I'll see you very soon on the next day. Cool.